Brett Jackrell here, MotoElectricVehicles.com, uh, with a special treat for you guys today. We have the two-passenger uh, Utility XL non-street legal golf cart sitting behind me. Uh, a lot of good features, a lot of customized work on this vehicle that we thought you guys should uh, be able to see uh, in a video better than some pictures. So uh, we wanted to go over a few features for you, show you the extended bed that actually is one of the largest in the nation right now uh, for you customers that want a utility type feel and capacity on a daily basis. Uh, first of all, obviously, this is a non-street legal vehicle. Uh, with it being a non-street legal vehicle, you don't get a lot of the features that you do with a street legal cart. We can do the same exact thing to a street legal cart. Uh, but with a non-street legal vehicle, you get the hinge windshield instead of the AS1 certified tempered glass. You don't get a VIN number to tag it. Um, you still get the headlights, the taillights, the blinkers. It has the same four kilowatt motor as the street legal cart. Uh, but the big thing you don't get is the wood grain dash, the wood grain back rest, and the wood grain steering wheel. Um, so that's kind of the difference between our street legal golf carts and our non-street legal golf carts. But the main thing I want to focus on today is going to be the utility bed. So let's get a better look at it from the back view and we'll go over some of the customized work we had our guys at the body shop do. Here we're standing at the back of the two passenger utility XL golf cart. Now this is a six foot bed. This is the, one of the biggest beds you can get in the nation right now in a golf cart chassis. Uh, it can hold up to about six to nine hundred pounds depending on what you're hauling. Uh, but this thing is actually built on a six passenger golf cart chassis so there's a lot of support. You don't see a lot of the utility bed is hanging off the vehicle like a lot of golf cart companies do. It's actually on the frame which makes this a lot more durable and a lot more better for when you're carrying your, your cargo in the back. Uh, this particular bed is a four inch side. Uh, we actually usually do it with an eight inch side but we actually did a customized job for this uh, Federer Burial of Prisons that we have here. They wanted a six foot bed by four foot wide with a four inch side, uh, side rail. So uh, this also has a drop down tailgate. Like I said, usually we do eight inches uh, but basically just pull the knob, drops down uh, and then you basically just put it back up and then you're going to go ahead and hold it in uh, with the stopper right here but this is all bed lined also this is very rare this is an option that most people on, or golf car companies actually offer for several hundred dollars our body shop fully bed lines the whole utility bed uh, so it won't rust on you and actually will last over time. Uh, once again, MotoElectricVehicles.com, uh, six foot utility bed. This is our biggest utility bed uh, out of all of our 40 something models. Um, so definitely take a good look at this if you guys are looking for a, a, another option to haul a lot of cargo. Let's jump to the front and we'll take it for a test drive and we'll go over some of the other features. So here we are at the front of the golf cart and uh, there's a lot of good features that I want to point out that a lot of golf cart companies don't include in their carts and I, I frankly don't know why. Um, you know, first off, what we've been doing actually is using a, a hand-operated uh, mechanical parking brake. Understand that when you guys have those golf carts where you basically just push the pedal down and lock it into position, if your brakes ever fail, if they do fail, you guys are going to have no uh, safety net or security on your brake, brake line. So we actually been separating the brake lines, giving you an independent parking brake. It's just another safety feature when, you, when your drivers are, are using uh, the vehicle. Uh, as far as the vehicle's features though, these go 25 miles per hour, 50 miles on a charge, and every single one of our models has onboard charging, not just this unit. So uh, 50 miles is one of the largest in the range right now, and the great thing about our chargers is they're all American onboard chargers. You can charge them in the middle of the cycle, uh, so you actually can get an extended range over the 50 miles if you guys really plan uh, accordingly. Um, these also have a high low switch. If you don't want your drivers going a full 25 miles per hour, you can always have it ke uh, kept in low gear, which will range around 10 to 12 miles on a, on a complete charge. Um, I don't want you guys to get confused. I do have a rugged bumper on this. Like I said, this is a customer's, but that rugged bumper right now, the option is available on our accessories page. Go ahead and contact us at, at uh, one of the numbers or www.motoelectricvehicles.com and ask a representative how much that is, but it is a good option to put on the front and the back. Um, with this feature, obviously you see that they do have the hinge windshield. A street legal model does come with a full AS1 certified tempered piece of glass, uh, but the hinge windshield is what comes on our non-street legal vehicles. To sum it all up, it's a great vehicle, 50 miles on a charge, let's take it for a test drive. Our production assistant here, Travis, that's going to demonstrate uh, kind of what, what this vehicle has to offer. Uh, we went ahead and picked up a local trash can that's pretty heavy, so we're going to go ahead and unload this thing, show you guys kind of what the drop-down tailgate has to offer. 
uh, and, and and go from there. Now, just to, just to tell you guys a little bit about the vehicle as he's working on this, uh, you know, we actually, if you see underneath the two bottom seats, we actually diamond plated the whole thing. So it actually is a nice clear look uh, with uh, the bed liner. It makes a nice you know look to the whole vehicle and the aluminum rim. So. As you can see, this is uh, you know the trash can that you know, we, we picked up. Uh, he's going to go ahead and load this thing back up and go haul it away. And you'll see it actually doesn't uh, affect you know the speed that much. I mean, this thing probably weighs I'd probably say uh, a good 60, 70 pounds. As you can see, Travis is struggling a little bit with it, but uh, so we'll load this thing up. Um, and then, like I said, this can hold up to around 600, anywhere from 600 to 900 pounds. So. Uh, got the thing loaded up we're gonna go ahead and take this thing for a test drive and it goes like I said 25 miles per hour 50 miles on a charge um, and uh, it, it is definitely an excellent vehicle to uh, to use on a daily basis so as we wrap this video up I just wanted to point out that this does have a 14 foot uh, turning radius um, you know on the unit uh, it actually does really well uh, with turning the vehicle around for a utility unit. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, please just give us a call at 904-247-1818. Me and Travis are signing out. We appreciate you guys uh, joining us on this video. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks, bye.